Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Smuggler Edition. Now, if you're looking for amazing deals on games, you can check out the link in the description to g2a.com, and they have some really, really good discounts. Anyway, we now have arrived on Corellia. As you can see, there's a bunch of blaster fire behind us, and we are here with Risha once more in none other than the Gilded Descent Casino. I was about to say the Gilded Crescent Casino again, but yes, I resisted the urge. And we've actually located it. It's kind of a bit weird that it hasn't, <laughs> hasn't updated the quest, but I suppose it will in due time. Now, obviously, who are we even seeing here? I've actually forgotten, but I don't think it's Dharmas, is it? No, it is not. It is a very small little person. Hello there. You're very cute, aren't you? Demosam mikedem bayutsheu pika beret. El danize chochka prostibin haundele brahmi shakamti. You know where a man named Kirao might have fled to? Nati hae pena et sush pena ya hasele olum. No doubt the usual sort of business. My assistant, Hereda of the Drawl. Seem the war didn't heed our wish, Captain, though Sharis made it back alive and whole. I trust you're here with Senator Dodonna. She arrived days ago and has been overhauling our strategy against the Empire. Stop her. She's selling the Republic to the Void Wolf so she can become supreme dictator of her own little world. That's quite an accusation. Considering Dodonna's word is your only source of credibility in the Republic. Do you have proof? The Senate will require evidence. I watched a recording of her and Dharmas plotting to betray the Republic. Dharmas Polaran? His relationship with Dodonna has been the top scandal on Coruscant. Freda, check our records. Dharmas Polaran's a known criminal. Does the SIS list any aliases or safe houses he's used on Corellia? Achib et busho el haaretz acher yachata mishom. A slug like Dharmas always leaves a nice slimy trail. If you find anything useful, I'm waiting on the link. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much for your assistance. Uh, yes, it's one of those, isn't it? It's one of those where, you know, you're just like, ah, oh, but please believe me. I'm I'm try telling you the truth, and I'm, I've, I've been working for you and doing good things, but actually not actually doing good things, so maybe don't remember about that. But the point is, I was trying to do good things, and good intentions always lead to bad places, apparently. Ah, oh, that's not very good, is it? Ah, oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, so where do I need to go? Ah, oh, it's only up there. So the Rusty Freighter. Wow, there's a huge amount of cantinas. Obviously, it would be on Corellia. It's a very, very rich world. But obviously, it's been hit by huge amounts of battle. So I'm not entirely sure why they're still up and running. Okay, well, I think I'm in the safe house. This is kind of a bit weird. Okay, so apparently there's Mandalorians also here. But I'm going to be attempting to sneak by them because I don't think there's a bonus mission here. We have security as well, but oh, they're, they're no match for me. We're going to be sneaking by and we're in the safe house now. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Interesting. Ah, a hollow terminal. Checking for messages, messages received, if I could speak. Darmus, this is Nevis Kid. Those blasted Imperials are getting closer. We're ready to risk your plan. Meet us by the Pirate's Hall Cantina. Every true Carillion Patriot will be there. We'll blow open Supply Tunnel 26 and come up right in the middle of the Imperial forces. We'll hit those leeches where it hurts. The Council won't sell Corellia out from under her native sons. Aha, uh -huh. I think there's some, yeah, there's definitely some infighting here in the Corellian government, or in general, in Corellia, obviously. But let's take our call, shall we? Garma seemed to have hooked up with some rebel leader named Nevis Kit. They're trying to blow open, um, Supply Tunnel 26? Darmus ingratiated himself quickly then. Nevis Kit used to be a captain in Corsac, the Corellian police force. Now he leads our fiercest squadron of guerrilla defenders. I never got the whole story. What are we trying to do in Corellia? And what's happened so far?
The counselors sold Corellia to the Empire, never expecting the citizens to rebel. <laughs> We need to keep that tunnel sealed. The red light sector is one of our only safe zones. Let's show these Corellians the true face of Dharma's Polaron. If Dharma's has the trust of Corellia's defenders, he can do great damage. Go now and stop Nevis Kit from carrying out this mad plan before the Imperials overrun us. And bring Dharma's back alive. His testimony is worth far more than his head. Ah, I see. So, alive it is then. Ah, something I didn't particularly want to do, but maybe, maybe I will get a choice. I'm not sure. There, There's always usually a choice, but maybe not in this case. Well, I have to say that locating this tunnel has been probably one of the... Wait a minute. Am I... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah... Exactly. This is exactly what I mean. Locating this tunnel has been an absolute nightmare because, as you see on here, that's where I have to go, right? So, I would have assumed that this bridge would have led me over there and to the right place, but apparently that is not the case. So, I'm going to have to... Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Oh, that, there, we are. there we are. Okay, so that was the way to go. Uh, I would overcomplicate things, wouldn't I? Because look at that. I went down here, around here, and then this is where I thought you had to go, but no, it's basically the exact same thing. As you can see there, there's the bridge that I was talking about as well. So, anyway, let's head into Supply Tunnel 26, and I would assume... Ah, yes, attempt to locate Darmus. Oh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful reunion. I'm, I'm wanting to smack him in the face. I'm wanting to do that, but I don't know whether that's going to happen. Maybe I'll let Risha do it. Corellia will not fall. When we blow this tunnel, we'll pour down on the Empire like an erupting volcano. We... M, the Imperial traitor. Will we let him sell Corellia to the Void Wolf? Or teach him how wrong he is? Traitor! You're dead. Nobody turns against Corellia. Darmus is an agent of the Void Wolf. They won't believe you. I already told them how you stole Bamoran weapons and White Mark cloaking technology for the Void Wolf. Many of them were quite offended by such behavior from someone on a senator's payroll. Blast him to pieces! This whole Patriot thing is a sham. He's just in it for the hot lady rebels. Getting desperate, are we? Kill this man before he calls the Empire down on you! If you open that tunnel, you give the Empire a path right to you. A path right to them? Will we cower here or fight to the end? It was the Republic forces who sealed off this tunnel. Code 11? Code 11, I'm under attack. Send back up. <laughs> Darmus betrayed us! We're lost! Right, okay, so I I kinda I didn't think the lie would actually do anything, but I found it amusing nevertheless. I thought that was actually kind of cool. Anyway, it appears as though he he kind of I I don't know, that was a bit weird. He seemed to break cover very, very quickly indeed. I mean he obviously did not have very much faith in his cover story, I suppose, but I suppose it was kind of easy to see through once you actually had a bit of a level head, because obviously he's preying upon their, shall we say, their insecurities regarding the Empire and, and their vengeance that they wish to inflict upon them, but yes, anyway. Master Sumali uh, apparently wants to appear just at the most opportune moments, because apparently I'm the one, uh, along with Risha, of course, that has to defeat all of the very powerful battle droids. Isn't that always the way, though?
looks as if you did need some additional support. Darmus got away. He's fled back to his Imperial Masters. Nevis Kit, Corsac. Uh, sorry about that misunderstanding. These aren't Imperial droids. They're local models. Counselor Kaikos' factory. Kaikos was one of the counselors who opened the doors to the Empire. Imperial troops are using his factory as a field hospital. If they're turning our droids against us, why hasn't the Republic cut them off? We've been trying to blow through the Kaikos factory. They've got it surrounded like you wouldn't believe. We planted a doctor on the inside. He hasn't found any weakness in their defense. If there's too many soldiers inside, they just need a good reason to come out. Stage a big enough attack, and no one will notice one man sneaking in. We need to make the Imperials believe we have more troops than we do. If you draw them out with staged attacks at multiple locations, we can keep them occupied with hit-and-run tactics. There's minimal risk. Then our doctor can sneak you into the factory to find Darmus. You want me to target specific locations? Or should I just wander around taking pot shots? I'll mark the locations where you need to stage attacks. Once you draw enough Imperial troops out of the factory, you can go in and find Darmus. Our men will hold their attention while you rendezvous with Dr. Shi Bada. I'll tell him to meet you at the triage station. He can sneak you in along with the Imperial wounded. Enough Corellians are fighting with the Empire that you shouldn't draw immediate attention. Call me when you reach Darmus Polarin. But, can, can, can I just say, wasn't he just here? Wasn't he just here? I mean, could we not actually corner him or something? Oh, I guess he escaped through some weird... Uh, I was going to say transport, but I don't think so somehow. Okay, well anyway, we have to attack the eastern, the western, and the southern relays. Alright, so we've reached the last comm relay, and i got to say, this kind of thing... It's it's not my favorite thing to do in Star Wars The Old Republic. I mean, I don't mind actually fighting with the Scoundrel because it's actually really fun. It's fun gameplay, but the mo most, most bad problem about it is that they give you extra units whenever you do this. So, for example, yeah, you destroy it and then a bunch of Imperial soldiers airdrop in from somewhere. I mean, where do they actually come from? Because I just looked up there and there's no ship or anything above us. But they just come in from somewhere, which is obviously fine because it's 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 a game, so it's going to happen. But the point is, is that why do they have to give me additional units? Why can't they just let me attack one thing and then destroy it and then move on? Why do I need an additional things to attack? Well, I suppose it's okay for experience and everything, but uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, we now need to speak to Shi Bata, and <laughs> oh no! Wait, where do I go? Do I go up here? Wait, do I go up here and then to the left? I think I probably do. I find it also amusing that they have construction site signs or something along those lines. I think that's kind of cool. And is this the way? I hope it is. This is the problem with Corellia. It's all very 90 degree ish if you know what i mean it's always you know, if you're going to turn left you're going to go 90 degrees if you're going to turn right it's going to go 90 degrees so yeah it's it's kind of it's very rigid in the way that they've designed the planet and it shows because i have no idea how to get there Alright, so if you are also going to be playing a smuggler or something like that, please, please just realize that there is a very small little place here and I, ugh, oh, it is, I don't even know. I don't even know why they would do something like this, but I suppose it is a smuggler. It is a smuggler, so they have to be sneaky, a little bit sneaky, so I'm not going to blame them too much for that, but still, that was, it was barely noticeable on the map, and then I thought to myself, okay, so I'm going to... <sighs> gonna go all the way around, but then it was just, no, it's just not gonna work. Anyway, okay, so we're here at Dr. Shibata, and we're gonna see if he can smuggle us in. Do you get it? Smuggler? Smuggle? Yeah. Dr. Shibata? Ah, yes, the new patient. I was told to expect a captain with a serious leg injury. Nevis Kit said you need to get inside. The only way in 
is on a stretcher. With the rest of the casualties. Ow! You scum-sucking son of a hut! Quit whining. It's just a leg. You didn't get your reputation without getting hurt worse than that. Now get on the stretcher. We can fix the leg inside. There. I've used a med pack on you. You should be fine. And you've got your choice of analgesics to steal if there's any lingering aches. Next time, could I maybe pose as a pharmaceutical rep? If you've got to break in here a second time, then we're all in trouble. Nevis Kit said you're looking for that double agent, Darmus something. Last I heard, he was in the surgical wing. Now, I better get back out there before anybody misses me. All right, okay, so we seem to be inside, and that just means the only thing left to do is find Damas, and we'll be doing that in the next episode. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.